Hey guys, welcome to the video. In this video, we will follow up on the uh, Savage 21 25 SS electric conversion. Um, and I will be running this platform with the current parts to see what fails. So that's the main goal here. Um, I have made some changes to them just to prevent uh, major failures, um, but I will detail those for you. Um, but first, I'd just like to thank you very much for watching the previous video I made on this platform. Um, it is the most viewed video I have at nearly 800 views as of this video. So thank you very much. I appreciate the support. And because of that, I wanted to follow up with this platform. So you can see in front of me, I have the front and rear clips from the Savage 21, 25 and SS. Um, they come standard with the 4313 sintered, uh, sintered ring and pinion gears and then they come standard with plastic diff cases and in those diff cases they have the only two 10 tooth spider gears in each so uh, pretty much a failure point right there so what I've done is I've upgraded the diff cases to the HPI stock alloy ones and then I've also added a second set of 10 tooth gears um, actually these this particular platform did come with them luckily so I just reused those so now they have four uh, four 10 tooth gears and then of course the standard two 20 tooth gears in each diff um, okay and then I've put them back together and I've got a hundred thousand weight in each Right, uh, and then you can see I have my shocks on here from my other set. I'm also using the stock radio box. Um, I will be running the ESC in the rear, so I will um, wire that into here where the receiver is. And um, of course, I will use the stock front dog bone, 78 millimeter dog bone, but then I've added the 142 millimeter savage xl dog bone so it's longer for the extra length um yeah and i'll be using the same cup joints here i've got a nice servo on here um, but yeah the main goal here is to um, show you how you can save money um, this conversion is expensive i won't lie um, so trying to reuse as many parts as possible to save money is my goal for this video. So um, that's the reason why I'm using the 4313 teeth, but I highly recommend using the 29 and 9 tooth gear set um, by HPI. It's the machined bulletproof set. Uh, the uh, product number is on your screen now. They are module 1.5, so bigger teeth more durable um, but yeah this set costs 35 US from HRP at the moment so if you wish to save money on that you can use the uh, stock 4313 these are installed in there now and this is the main purpose of the video I'd like to see if you could convert this platform and continue using these gears so they are mod one but this is sintered so um, this is actually what the one i pulled out of the front i bought this used this platform so you can see there's chipping on the inside i replace it with one of my own same ones yeah so we will see how they hold up they're much noisier too all right so uh, now let's go ahead and assemble and uh, I will show you the completed vehicle. All right, guys, so just before I assemble the vehicle, I just wanted to highlight something. Um, for this test, I'll be using the uh, smaller eight millimeter ball uh, dog bones here. Um, they come stock in the Savage 21, 25 or SS. And then of course these axles, they're much shorter and the outdrive from the diff as well these are smaller so not really made for flux power 
whereas the uh, Flux XL has the larger 11 millimeter super heavy duty uh, axles um, and the of course the XL extra long axles for the wheels and then the outdrives so if you do want to uh, improve durability in your drivetrain this would be the upgrade I would recommend these three parts yeah but uh, yeah for this test we will be looking at uh, sorry using the smaller ones so we will see how they hold up I suspect something will fail but we will see okay let's continue with assembly okay guys so we have the vehicle all assembled um, I put the front on already um, but let me show you the back it's pretty much the same as the front so just make sure your rear ESC mount if you have one um, the screws are loose so you can spread the TVPs apart uh, you can either add in the uh, rear dog bone now or you can just remove the center diff from the bottom axis of the center diff set to install it but I'm just going to install it later so uh, first spread these open and then push it up pull these apart and then they click let's make sure there we go just like that and then you put the screws in the top one here and then one here and then tighten everything down okay so that should be it um, now I will finish assembling this and then let's take it for a run. 